Have you ever scheduled an important meeting only to find that some of the participants didn't show up? Or maybe you've spent a lot of time sending out reminders and answering questions about when and where the meeting is taking place. You won't need to worry about any of that if you use Calendly. Not only can you schedule meetings easily, but you can then set up automated notifications to make sure that everyone has the details they need and remembers to attend. In this sponsored tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and personalize meeting email notifications in Calendly. Click the link in the description below to sign up for Calendly's free plan and follow along. You can set up automated meeting notifications in Calendly using a workflow. You get 15 pre-made workflows to choose from, including common notifications like sending email or text reminders, canceling a meeting, or requesting a follow-up meeting. And you can also set up your own custom workflows if you want. Let's get started and set up a workflow to remind our attendees about an upcoming meeting. Go to the home page and click on the Workflows tab. You'll see various pre-made workflows here. Choose Email Reminder to Invitee for this example. Now you can set up your workflow. Start by specifying which meetings it will apply to from the drop-down menu on the right. Then choose when you want the notification to be sent. For example, 24 hours before the event starts. Then, in the Do This box, you can customize the email that will be sent. You'll see a default subject line in email text, and you can simply edit the text to make it your own. It's very simple. When you've finished editing your workflow, click Done in the bottom right corner. You can stop there if you like, but I also want to show you one more option. Under the Do This box, you'll see a button called Add Action. This lets you extend your workflow by adding another action, such as sending an email or text message to the host or invitee. The process here is the same as the one we just went through for creating a new workflow. When you've finished adding actions, click on the blue Save button in the bottom right of the screen to save all the changes you've made. What if you don't like the standard templates that Calendly has provided? Well, that's easy too. You can create your own workflow. Back on the Workflows tab at the start, instead of picking a pre-made workflow, you can click on Create Your Own Workflow in the top right. Then you follow a similar set of steps, choosing when this happens, and then specifying actions in the Do This section. The main difference is that instead of modifying the default suggestions, you can create your own notifications from scratch. So that was how to create and customize meeting notifications in Calendly. Simple, right? I hope you liked this sponsored video. As you can see, Calendly can make meetings a whole lot easier to arrange. There's a free plan to help you get started without any commitment. Just click the link in the description below to sign up and start using Calendly right away.